Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech back with another video. I'll try and make this brief and concise. After being asked several times, as well as seeing the concern for many regarding the potential slow performance for the 815 Bionic chip, I decided to do some digging, provide some tangible data from real benchmarks on what to expect for those looking to buy or interested in the iPhone 13 Pro models. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any recent benchmarks for the regular iPhone 13 or 13 mini models. Nevertheless, let's get to the point. Apple announced this Tuesday that the iPhone 13 is 50% faster in CPU and 30% faster in GPU for the regular iPhone 13 and 13 mini, while 50% faster for the iPhone 13 Pro models. The iPhone 13 has a 4-core GPU, while the iPhone 13 Pro has a 5-core GPU. Today, it seems we finally got to see some early benchmarks from Geekbench 5 in both CPU and GPU for the iPhone 13 Pro, as someone with access to an iPhone 13 Pro unit performed several Geekbench tests and uploaded to their website. Now let's start with the good. The iPhone 13 Pro is a little over 50% more powerful than the iPhone 12 Pro Max in GPU performance. As you can see, when looking at this Geekbench 5 GPU test, I scored a metal score of 9,279 when the iPhone 12 Pro Max, while the iPhone 13 Pro scores around 14,216 metal GPU score. This is absolutely impressive. Now let's talk about the not so good, the CPU. Improvements are very minor. Based on my early testing, it seems the iPhone 13 Pro models have roughly a 10 to 15% increase in CPU performance versus the iPhone 12 Pro Max in both single core and multi core score performance. As you can clearly see, the results aren't too drastic between the iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max in both categories. Henceforth, for CPU gains, I wouldn't expect any major differences in user experience as it pertains to CPU-related tasks within iOS between both iPhones. Overall, contrary to popular belief, the A15 Bionic chip will indeed provide an insane jump in performance based on these early results as the GPU plays a direct role in gaming experience, video editing and rendering, 120Hz refresh rate experience, and even computational photography. Please stay tuned for my full performance and camera review as some of this data is still subject to change. With that being said, please stay safe and see you next time.